Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the reasons why the interest rates that you're quoted, either at the bank or um, by a mortgage officer or even at a, um, at a furniture store, might not exactly be reflective of the interest that you're going to pay. So the first idea we're going to tackle is this thing, it's the myth of free financing. Oftentimes, a car dealer or a furniture store, any place like that, will say, sure, you don't have to pay interest. You know, it'll say that it's 0% financing or 12 months, same as cash. And what usually that is, is they don't give you an actual interest rate, right? But you have to forego something, typically a discount at the beginning. So essentially, they're telling you that the actual price of the item is cheaper than it is. But you have to pay the full price if you're going to finance it. And that difference between the full price and the discount you would get if you paid cash up front, that's the finance charge. And we're going to, in this tutorial, calculate the, uh, the interest rate on that finance charge. So let's take the example of a furniture store. And it's the local mattress shop um, offering a deal called 12 months same as cash on their Tempur-Pedic mattresses, which cost typically um, about $2,000. They tell you that well-qualified customers can take their mattress home today and pay nothing for an entire year. But if you do want to pay today, you can get a discount, a $200 discount off the price of the bed. So let's turn that $200 out of the $2,000 into an interest rate for that year of financing. Because you actually have two choices. You can pay now and pay only $200, I mean only $1,800, or you can wait a year and pay $2,000. So how we calculate this is with this idea of called differential cash flow. And differential means the difference between the two different cash flows, um, but oftentimes people think that's a little bit confusing. And how I like to think about it is um, one alternative versus the other. We're comparing all our alternatives, and if we calculate the, the um, effective annual interest rate of those alternatives, we get an interest rate. Here's the example. If we're going to pay cash, our cash flow right now is equal to an outflow, so a negative $1,800 right now, and in one year, it's zero. If we're going to do this with 12 months free financing, quote unquote free financing. Our cash flow today is zero, right? That's the benefit. No money going out today. But in one year, it's $2,000 going out. So if you think about it in terms of how it might feel to you, you're thinking, okay, I could, by taking the free financing, instead of paying $1,800, I'm going to pay $0. So that amounts to a loan, an $1,800 loan that the, the um, fabric shop, I'm sorry, that the mattress shop is making to you. In a year, you have to pay $2,000 for the benefit of not having to pay $1,800 now. So to calculate that as an interest rate, we can enter the IRR, the internal rate of return function between those two cash flows, the loan of $1,800 that they're essentially giving you now in exchange for the $2,000 payment at the end of the year. And we can see that that's an 11.11% .11 interest rate. The take home message for that is that if you can get financing from any other source for less than 11%, you're better borrowing money from somebody else to buy that bet and paying $1,800 in cash because overall, you'll spend less money on the bed than you would if you just let the dealer say, same as cash for 12 months, because it actually is not the same as cash.